I agree uh, at the inauguration of the outdooring of uh, Mrs. Nana J. Mrs. J. Nana Pukwajima. And this Iran in it. There was a lot of poetry. That one, I was struck by the poetry. But I understand that is her field, isn't it? So it was okay. But we have been told this morning that she held the nation spellbound, she charmed the country. I was seeing where was the charm? What did she say that is so striking that we have never heard before that she hold us spellbound? What, what did she say? Beyond the poetry and the fine words, she is a professor. Is it of literature? Is it of literature? So I, I can imagine there will be a lot of fine words. But beyond those fine words, <laughs> we have been told she had a spell bound. By what? What did she say that is new, that is striking, that we haven't thought of before? That is going to give us food for thoughts. What did she say? What did she say that charmed the country? What new vision did she... We are being told that um, by her nomination. Now, mind you, this is... She's not a new quantity. This is the second time she's been, she's been nominated or she's been chosen to be a running mate. So she's not a new quantity. But we are being told that now women have finally received what they deserve. The Ghanaian woman has finally received. Finally, the woman was chosen in 2020. Or, hmm? she was chosen in 2020. It's not today. So, coming to tell us that the, the Ghanaian woman has finally received what they deserve, please. She was chosen in 2020. It's not new. It's not a new thing that any Ghanaian woman should be excited about. And in any case, she's not the first female running mate. She's not the first. Maybe the two, two major parties. parties. Of the two Let major say the parties. two major parties. Two major but parties. This, this business of a Ghanaian woman, finally, she's not the first. We've had women presidential candidates in this country. Nana Kunidu Ajimaru was a presidential candidate. Why are you? Why? Come on. Why are you? No, I'm looking at the monitor. Suddenly. What? Nana. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your boss. Look at you. <laughs> Let me repeat it for you all there. Nana Kunidu Ajima Rollins was a presidential candidate. That's true. It was a fact. Um, the the uh, uh, Christine Doom's party, mm -hmm. they had this young lady, Miss Jogbenuku, yes. as a running mate. Bridget. She even became the presidential candidate. Bridget yes. She even became the presidential candidate. So this business of beating us that this is a woman that have finally got is not true. But well, the reality is that the two major, yeah. the two major parties. But the two major political this parties. This is the first time. This is the first time. That's so the other parties, they don't matter. Major political parties. The other women, because they come from other parties, they don't matter. La, la, they do. Nana. La, Nana. La, la, la. Let me just go on. Hold on. <laughs> now, um, we are not told and propaganda. that oh. she's internationally been sought after. Absolutely. The facts speak for itself. But she was internationally being sought after in 2020, wasn't she? She was, obviously. So coming to tell us that she's uh, somebody that the international community is looking for, so what? <laughs> what has that got to do with anything? Oh, really? What has that got to do with anything? Huh? Oh. And then they said, um, she said that, that Samuel Kujato says, uh, what impresses him about the whole poetry was that she said she and John Mahama yes. have agreed yes. to prosecute 
wrongdoing and corruption. Okay, you're summarizing it. This is, this, 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 I'm just, okay. yes, yeah, I mean, yeah. okay. no, you said she, can you read it again? That's exactly what she, I, I was writing it. I was going to ask you to read it. You want to have a read? Yeah, that's it. The last John time. and I have agreed. Yes. Yeah. That whoever has participated. I love the that. picture of your voice. Yes. Yes. Must be held accountable. Yeah. That's it. So, yeah. oh, I thought you were going to read the whole thing. The whole speech? No, 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 no. That, that yeah, paragraph. That paragraph. You can complete the paragraph. No, but the part I'm interested in is, <laughs> is uh, John and I have agreed. Whoever has participated in plunder must be held accountable. Yeah. Yeah. This is not a threat. It mm -hmm. is a promise. Mm -hmm. Premise on the wish of our citizens. Okay. Yeah. And Samuel Kujetu said, this is what impressed him most. Mm -hmm. This one. Yes. It is on the basis of his own... So, <clears throat> the great charm. Yeah. The way she held the nation spellbound. Mm -hmm. Is all... As Samuel Kujetu is all because she says she will prosecute wrongdoing. This is what we are being offered. Now, Randy, what should we all have to ask ourselves that? Is this something that anybody should take notice of? That an incoming government, you need to go and sit with your presidential to take a decision, mm -hmm. to prosecute crime. Mm -hmm. Do you need to go and take a decision? It's a natural cause. It's a natural yeah, course. Probably our, probably our history, uh, maybe our history and the recent history does not make it yeah. a natural course. Let me, show yeah. you our, let me show you our recent history. Okay. In 2012, mm. sorry, in 2009, when the NDC came to office, they had press conferences. The lead presenters of those press conferences were pointing their fingers into the camera about how they'll prosecute wrongdoing. You remember? Mm -hmm. Some of these people became attorney generals. Like who? Like who? I'm saying some of those people at their press conference, they became attorney generals. Ooh, so ooh. they were faced with the, uh, the, the power now to prosecute. Ooh, what who, happened? Who are you referring You forget about the personalities, if you don't remember. But I'm saying, what happened to that promise? What happened to that premise? How dare they who deal with them? Look, last week, somebody was jailed. Mm -hmm. She has run away from justice to the embarrassment of everybody, mm -hmm. that to all of us public officials, because we believe that we serve with integrity. She runs away from the country for months. Finally, she's jailed. I thought Jane Nana Pukwajima, if she's going to talk about this, will mention this. Why am I she? Yeah, because she's talking about mm -hmm. dealing with corruption, and so she will mention that this is significant. Us that you've gone and taken it. Let, let me see how she puts it. John and I have agreed. Mm -hmm. Do you need to go and have an agreement about fighting corruption? Yeah, why not? Do you need? I'm saying in, the, in 2009, you told us the same thing. You couldn't prosecute one person. One, one person. You remove um, uh, stop international flights because you said uh, somebody was uh, uh, on the flight was a uh, it was a subject of interest. Stop international flights, remove uh, families from international flights. He said somebody had imported rice, you didn't understand it. It was a, all kinds of things. Focal, zilch, just noise. Judgment day is coming. That is your record. That is your record. At least in the NPP, there are people being prosecuted successfully. Mm? Mm -hmm. Including last week, last week uh, the mass lock thing. People have been prosecuted successfully. But I'm saying that mm. the fight against crime and corruption, especially, it should be automatic. It is not now but that you are going not. to take an agreement. Eh? But it is not. But I'm saying they said the same thing to us in 2009. Mm. The same thing. If it was, more people, more threatening than this. You don't shout about it. You have to do it. The NPP is doing it. Selectively. Doing it selectively. 
But at least we are doing it. They don't see their own corruption. Yeah, but at least we are doing it. You agree? One of your colleagues was jailed. She, she still, yes. Mm. But yes, the court also has taken a decision that it disagrees and has okay. gone ahead to try, and absen uh, try her in absentia. And, it's and been four years, isn't it? I don't know. It's about four years. She's been sick for four years. But I'm saying that at least a successful prosecution has been mounted. Mm. My worry is, th th this is what Samuel Kujeto says moves him, mm. that they, they have agreed. They have agreed that whoever has been involved in the plunder must be accountable. Mm. And, and this is the, what Samuel Kujeto says is so novel, so new, so charming, so spellbound. In, the, in his own words, this, this is the part that freaks him. Absolutely. An agreement that they will prosecute corruption. Mm. Now, Randy, you said, are you, are you not embarrassed by this? Why? I'm that, not, that... I'm excited about it. That, they, that they, they, they've gone to agree. You mean they have to go and agree? I'm excited about it. About what? The agreement? Yes, about yeah. the fact that people must answer. Yeah. But you know that people must answer. You know, you and I know. No, people must that, answer. My point is that even today, yeah. yes, people must answer. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. If, if, for example, as we speak today, mm -hmm. um, Fourth Estate, mm -hmm. the SML thing they did, mm -hmm. the president referred the matter to KPMG. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then, a few weeks ago, some civil society persons and media mm -hmm. told us all that, look, KPMG has presented a report to the president. There is some silence on it. Then we had a release from the presidency. So your point is that people must answer even today. Yeah. Yes. I agree. Yeah. No, when yeah. you say that, yeah. I, I, I make those statements when you say that it's like a, it's a natural no. course. Yeah. Yeah. It's something that must happen naturally. Because yeah. it's not I'm happening. just saying that yeah. I don't disagree that that is what ought to be. Yes. But it is not. Mm -hmm. And that is why... But last week there was a prosecution. Oh. Nana. No, last week there was prosecution. Nana. Yeah. The point I'm making to you... Uh -huh. Is that it is not about tokenism. That's mm. the point I'm making to you. And why is the token? Because I am saying that I was giving you this SML thing. Mm -hmm. So the report is presented to the president. It takes people in social, civil society and media to tell us that the report. Yeah, so in your view, then we get a statement. In your view, the yes. fight against plunder must be now. Yes. I agree. I don't have a problem. But I'm yes. saying that this momentous announcement mm. as if it's some new thing that has they have to go and deliberate about it mm. and come and tell us about it mm. that we have gone and agreed mm. for me that, that's my worry this one is so basic and samuel kujato says that this is what you know freaks him but, most but when that a, the, the pledge that they will fight when a basic thing against when a basic thing has been made rocket science yeah it ceases to be basic where's the rocket science? what ought to be basic yeah. so a president, there is a, a, a media disclosure. Mm -hmm. There's a public discussion on the issue. Mm -hmm. The president asks an audit firm to audit. Mm -hmm. The audit so report what is, is the point? The, the point audit is report that... is presented to the president. Why is the president mm -hmm. refusing to publish the Publish report? the report. Yeah. Publish the report. And let everybody see. You and if I... you have nothing to hide, publish the report. No, we are not, if, we want to talk, if you want us to talk about the report, we can talk about it. I'm saying that this momentous announcement that we have gone and sat down and agreed that we'll fight, we'll, Corruption. we'll, we'll hold people accountable. Mm. Yeah. This one. Yeah. You have to go and sit down with your flag bearer to agree. Mm. This one. Okay. And we are being told that this is uh, the, 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 the freakiest part of it. The agreement with John Mahama that will fight corruption. Mm. I'm saying that and you talked about history. I'm saying that if you look at the history, in 2009, they made even louder commitments to fight. When they came, what did they do? In the eight years, what did they do? Which successful prosecution could they mount? Between 2009 and 2016.